I'm Zandu and today I'm looking at Mario Enemies. But I like Bob on here. I'm looking at the hardest Mario enemies. We are looking at the top 10 hardest Mario enemies in my my opinion. We'll start out with munchers. These are a black piranha plants that are only found in 9-7 in Super, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The problem is they're stuck in ice cubes and there's a bunch of fire piranha plants. And you, you can, and you get a fire flower in the level, not too bad, but it will melt the ice. They're invincible to anything but the end of a level or power blocks. Next, we are looking at King Bill. They are so annoying. And like halfway through 9-8, they, they are like coins that form a bullet bill and inside of a bunch of blocks that you know they can't break. But then a ginormous board bill flies in the direction of the coins, breaking the blocks. And these, and by giant, I mean giant. Ginormous. Even bigger than Banzai bills. Next is Pokey. These guys have, have killed me a lot. No, I do seem to get more lucky when I have Yoshi or an Ice Flower because the Ice Flower hmm, makes it explode into millions of ice pieces. Well, not millions because each section gets stuck in ice. And then when the, it wears off, it's just defeated and Yoshi can eat it all if it hits the bottom segment. And that's Pokey. And now we're moving on to Spike. Even though it's called Spike, it doesn't have any spikes. It's called that because it's probably called that because it literally both spikes and then throws them at you. It's kind of gross, but it's hard to dodge them. But but it it always kills me because when I try to jump on it it'll probably send out a spiky ball. Next is Magma. The first one on this list that is from the DS and not from the Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, Magma is a ginormous lava thing that tries to eat you. If you get a white Tanuki suit and run into it, it will just either push you into the lava or if you hit the side of it you just don't move anymore until it goes away back into the lava and number five is cosmic clone cosmic clone is a pain in the butt because it's small oil you think that's good but it follows your every move it's kind of like celeste uh but this time Mario. It's just so annoying. Good thing at the end of the level you see it and you get a superstar to finally defeat that annoying thing. Because you cannot jump on it. At least I haven't tried. And I'm pretty sure it'll just kill you if you jump on it. Number four. Uh, T-Rex. T-Rex I know you know what a T-Rex is. And it's so annoying in my Mario game. In the Wooded Kingdom and Metro Kingdom, it chases after you. But there's a good side to the T-Rexes because in the Cascade Kingdom, there's a sleeping room, which is way easier to capture because you just have to fold the cap on its head and you are, you are a T-Rex and you can destroy every chain shop. Too bad you can't go in pipes. 
Wait, how can a T-Rex not go in pipes but Bowser can? It's weird. Anyway, number three is Lakitu. Lakitu is the worst. He throws spidey eggs and sometimes pull on a plant pods out of his cloud. In my mind though, he gets even worse because he can throw anything from mushrooms to giant wigglers, sledge blows to bob -ons. It can even throw flying coins. Flying sledge balls. It can throw literally anything. Well, not anything. It can throw other lock twos. Or bill blasters. I guess that makes sense. Number two is Charging Chuck. It's not really the enemy, but the part that the enemy is in. Jump on his head. Or for Cappy. Then you capture it and after bus locks. Sounds easy, but mm -mm, it's not easy at all. Because you can fall in lava during that part. <laughs> Honorable mentions show these tank guys, they're pretty hard, but not hard enough. The tank battle thing in Metro Kingdom was so cool, but that doesn't make them any harder because it's just a tank battle. And their missiles go so slow, but they are honorable mentions because they need a ground pound to defeat. Next, honorable mention, a Monty Bull. Monty Bulls are bulls that will come off of the ground and run at you super fast. I always seem to defeat them unless there's like a bunch at a time. Let's go to another honorable mention and the last honorable mention, Banzai Bill. These are giant for bears, not as big as kick bears though. And just today, I beat a bunch of them. Anyway, let's go to number one. And I'm pretty sure most of you know what it is gonna be. And probably most of you are gonna agree with me. It's the hammer ball. Hammer balls are the absolute worst. They're not a worse when you encounter boomerang balls, fire balls, or ice balls. But the ones that throw hammers, they are the absolute worst. I only managed to get past them when I have a Yoshi. Because I could just eat their hammers and spit them back out at them. So there you have it. Now you know my number one pick for the hardest enemy. I would probably say the hardest one would be dry bones. Dry bones? So, yeah. anyway, so, let's yeah. talk a little bit about dry bones. Dry bones is a skeleton of a Koopa Troopa which walks around and if you jump on its head it falls down and breaks but it will soon recover. You can eat it with Yoshi in Super Mario Maker and you get something to spit out in Super Mario Maker if you eat it. Bones. You shoot three bones. One going in front of you and the other is going and to the top and bottom corners of the screen. What? Um, Bowman is just like Bowser, but he's made out of bones. What? It's like killed, it's like a killed Bowser. Dry Bowser? Yeah. It I is. Like and we're not talking about bosses, so. I know. Anyway, Dry Bowser is a dry bones, except it's shaped like bass. But, and in Super Mario World, dry bones throw their bones. Well, which is 
a feature only seen in that game. And there's one more thing about Dry Bones. He is ac was actually not seen in the first three games of Mario. It was first seen in Super Mario Bros. 3, but not in Super Mario, wait. Oh wait, I mean the first four games. It, it was not seen in Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2 The Lost Levels, Super Mario Bros. 2, and Super Mario Land. So, there you have it. You can go sit back down. Thank you. So there you have it. See you next time on Video Game Wiz. Ba-bam. Oh, do it, man.